Welcome to this series on how to moonwalk. In this segment, part two, we'll be talking about how to do stairway glides. Not just talking, but actually doing. Okay? If you already know how to do basic glides, you should have no problem learning how to do the stairway glides because all we're going to do is add a few techniques to your basic glides to get you on to stairway glides. Alright? So with that being said, let's head out to the stairs and let's get you practicing. Basically, what you're going to do here is, now in, in part one I covered the roll down. When you roll down, your other foot stays flat and comes up when it passes the heel. Now, when you're rolling on the stairs, your foot is going to come into an angle like this. You're going to lift your toes higher, okay? And the reason for that is because the stair is in an angle. From here, from this part of the stairs to this part of the stairs, it's an angle. It comes down like this, right? You can see the angle, okay? Now, in order for the effect to look really, really cool, you're going to have to have that angle on your shoes. So in order to have that angle, you have to lift up, tilt your foot up a little so that your glides come down this way. Now, you can glide straight and drop and land soft and still have the effect but um, to have a real cool looking glide down the stairs to make it look like you're just going straight down, you have to tilt your foot up, okay? So you can do both ways. It's up to you. Pick which one works for you and do it that way, okay? But check it out. So you're gonna, so when you, when you drop, you're gonna add, you're gonna add like a little hop, okay? You have to add like a little hop when you drop down to the next stairs because your foot has to find the placing. Okay, your other foot. So when you go in here, when, when, when you roll back and your foot starts to take the position of the roll down, this foot here has to hop. Okay, so you drop, hop, and you drop to the next one. And as soon as your foot comes into contact, you have to start the roll already. There's no pausing here. You go right into the next roll at each, at each drop. Okay. See how fast that was? It was just like non-stop. Okay. See that? It's just it's just a quick flow. Okay. Now how to get the real good effect? Once you start getting this down and start getting used to, to going down the stairs when you when you're dropping to the next level if you can hold that glide like from here to here a little longer it'll have a much nicer effect as well okay it'll look like you're going down in slow motion so um, uh, the goal of this in order to make it look real crispy clean nice is to have that glide hold the glide okay? on the stairs where there's a railing here so you can hang on you know to practice it when you're first starting it out um, once you get used to the motion take your hands off and you can do it like this okay you can just go down you see? you're doing the floats down the stairs you can have the hand motions as if you're walking put it in your pocket you know you can uh, cross do whatever you want whatever you feel you want to do okay all up to you what you want to do okay? 
And here's a basic, basic line going straight. So you keep in straight, straight motion coming down. And this is with the tilt. Now I can't tilt too much in my high cuts, so it will only allow me to flex up to this point. Um, for those of you who got low cuts, using other type of shoes, you can tilt your foot really high. How you get a high tilt is by exercising it. Go up against a wall, leave your foot flat, leg straight, and lean forward. This is how you get a better stretch in your ankle, and you can start to um, get a better tilt in your glides, okay, in your floats. So that's, that's going down with the tilt, okay. That again. Boom. All right, well that should about cover up everything on the stairway glides. Um, sorry about that last part in the video where I was trying to teach you how to do the tilted version of the glide to match the, the angle of the stairs. I didn't realize my boots wasn't bending. I was lifting up my feet, but my feet was moving in the boots. And my boots wasn't doing the, the um, angle that I wanted it to. So <laughs> it's funny when I got home and I was looking at it and I was like, why isn't my, I could have swear my foot was in an angle and my foot was in an angle in the boots. But the boots wasn't moving at all because, you know, the high cuts was stopping it from moving. So, you know, I'm sorry about that if you didn't uh, see that. Um, but I hope that the technique that I showed you, uh, when you do it, I hope that it'll come out looking really cool, re really smooth. If you got any comments or any questions, please post it on YouTube. If you have a video response uh, and you want to show me what you look like doing the glides down the stairs now, send it. You know, I want to check it out, you know. I'm always happy to see people doing this and uh, that's my whole goal here. So until the next episode, I shall see you guys. Keep practicing hard, you know, get things done. And I thank you again for coming to my video. Alright? Peace.